Tom Tick Tot. Fox tales are old stories passed on from one person to another by word of mouth. They reflect the belief, culture, and la- lives the lives of the people of a particular region, country, or continent. Some have morals and some are for pure enjoyment. Read this English folk tale of Tom Tittot. Once upon a time, a woman baked five pies. When they came out of the oven, they were overbaked. Their crust was too hard to eat. The woman called her daughter and said, Dear, put these pies on the shelf and leave them to soften. But the girl was hungry. She said to herself, I'll eat them now. And she ate them all, first and last. At supper time, the woman asked her daughter to get the pies. They must have become soft, said she. You cannot have them, replied the girl. Not any of them? asked the mother. No, I have eaten them all. Well, the woman was angry. She took her spinning to the door and as she began to spin, she She sang. sang. My daughter ate five pies, five pies today. My daughter ate five pies, five pies today. The king who was passing by heard her sing, but what she sang he could not understand. He stopped and said, What are you singing? The woman was ashamed to tell what she was singing, so she sang, My daughter had spun five, five skis today. My daughter has spun five, five skis today. Goodness gracious! Your daughter must be really clever. And then he added, Look, I'll marry your daughter because I want a clever woman as my wife. But there is a condition. Eleven months of the year, she shall have the best things she wants. But the last month of the year, she'll have to spin five skeins every day. And if she doesn't, I shall leave her. The woman was delighted, and as for the five skeins, she thought, when the time comes, there will be plenty of ways of getting out of it, and most likely the king will forget about it. So the king and the girl were married, and for eleven months the girl had the best things of life. However, on the first day of the last month, the king took her to a room where there was a spinning wheel. He said, Now, dear, here I will stay, and if you do not spin five skeins for the night, you will leave my palace. And away he went. The girl was worried. She did not know how to spin. She sat down on the stool and began to cry. Suddenly, she heard a knock. She opened the door and saw a small little black thing with a long tail. The creature looked up at her and said, Why are you crying? It won't help me if I told you, said she. You don't know that, it said and told its tail. Well, she told the creature about the pies and the skeins and about everything. Don't worry, said the little thing. I'll come to your window every morning and take the flax and bring the skeins at night. The girl was very happy. What's your pay? said she. You have to guess my name. I'll give you three guesses every night. And if you don't guess it before the month is up, you shall be mine. Said the little thing. 
the girl was sure she would be able to guess the creature's name. I agree, she said confidently. Hmm. All right, it said and twirling its tail, it disappeared. Next day, the little thing was at the window. Give me the flax, it said. Here it is, said the girl. The creature picked up the flags and off it went. In the evening, it was there with five skeins. What's my name? It said. Bill, she said. No, it said and pulled its tail. Is that Ned? No. That ain't, it said, and twirled his tail. Well, is that Mark? No, that ain't, it said, and flew away. When the king came, the five skeins were ready for him. He was happy. From then on, every day, the little black thing would take flax in the morning and bring five skins in the evening. And all day long, the girl would think of names to say when the little thing came, but she didn't get it right. The day before the last day, the little thing came at night with five skins and said, What haven't you got my name yet? Is that Nicodemus? No, it said. Is that Samuel? No, it ain't. Um, well, Methuselah? No, it isn't, it said. There's only tomorrow night and then you'll be fine. And it flew away. The girl felt horrible. However, she heard the king coming along the passage. When he saw the five skeins, he was happy and said, supper with you tonight. So the men brought the supper and the both sat down to eat. He had not eaten a mouthful when he began to laugh. What, what is it? said the girl. He was out hunting and straight to a place where there was an old chalk pit. I heard a humming sound. When I peeped in, I saw a strange little thing. There, so also there was a little spinning wheel that was spinning very fast. The little thing was singing, Nimi Nimi Not, my name's Tom Tit Tot. When the girl heard this, she was overjoyed, but she kept quiet. Next day, when the night came, she heard the knock again and opened the door. The little thing stood with its tail twirling fast. What's my name? Is that Solomon? She said, pretending to be afraid. No. Well, ZBD. Next wrong guess and you are mine. Well, she said, it's Nimi Nimi Not, your name's Tom Tit Tot. When the creator heard that, it was shocked and flew away never to return.